What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This weekend we're going to be working on a few different things. The first of which is going to be Eric Civic, which we actually haven't done on this channel in quite some time actually. We're going to be installing his new roll bar that I painted this week. It's championship white to match his wheels. So that is what we're going to be doing tonight. Tomorrow we're probably going to work on the NB Miata some more and hopefully finish it up or get close to finishing it up. So stay tuned to later in the video for that. But yeah, we've already kind of pre-installed this roll bar so it should be fairly smooth. Um, he's going to be keeping the interior in the car with this roll bar so that's the only thing we kind of got to figure out tonight. But we're going to go ahead and get started on this install. Alright, we'll get to it. Your car. Uh... <laughs> What we're attempting to do is kind of difficult. So where the like the rear uprights that, that hold the roll bar up, they go through, or if we do keep the interior in, it would go through this plastic here. And what we want to do, instead of just cutting a big square so the little feet on the roll bar can go through, what we want to do is just cut a circle and then have the bar come through since it's a two-piece design. But just figuring out where this is going to hit on the plastic is kind of difficult. We got a rough, a rough idea of where it's gonna go. I think we're just gonna send it and see if it works out. So this here is kinda better example of what I was talking about. So these, this is where the rear bars come down and bolt to the rear wheel houses. And at the bottom of this pipe, it's like a square base where it sits and gets bolted to the wheel house. So we actually got it pretty close our first try. Looks very nice, just a pipe going through a circular hole right there. So to get the plastic to sit down all the way where it's supposed to, I think we just need to open this hole up a little bit more and we should be good. But uh, yeah, very lucky with our cut there on the first try with minimal measuring. All right, we got this roll bar install finished up, and like we were just saying, the holes we cut didn't work out perfectly, but it it looks good enough, honestly. It was pretty hard to do to line up those holes like that, but honestly, just having the full interior in the car makes it so much better. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it looks really sick. The bar is obviously very, very strong, so should be pretty cool to see how it actually drives with all this stuff in there. All right, you guys, so just trying to finalize some things on the NB now. As you can see, the car is on the ground now. Transmission back in, clutch and flywheel job is done. We've actually driven the car around some. Also did that shifter rebuild. So the car feels pretty awesome to drive now. The clutch and shifter both feel very good. So it's running good, looking good inside and out. Interior is pretty much complete as well as the exterior. So all we're doing now is kind of going through and buttoning up the little odds and ends. We've replaced a lot of hardware on this car like we've talked about just because a lot of bolts were wrong, incorrect lengths, incorrect hardware altogether, stuff like that. So we just had to replace a couple exhaust studs as well as a few bolts in the throttle body. So just kind of working on that and then once that is done we're going to take the car to an exhaust shop to have the exhaust welded back up since we had to cut it apart just so we could drop it out so we could drop the transmission to do the clutch. So literally just that to go and then we're going to put the car on stock suspension and wheels and tires and it'll be ready to sell. Okay, well, turns out the bolts we got for the throttle blade are not long enough, so we gotta go back to the hardware store, 
again. But I did manage to get the exhaust heat shield on. But anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this one here. Hopefully next week we'll actually have some more progress for you guys on this. I do want to get the suspension and wheels swapped out soon. Also, a small protege update. I got the fender off and I've been working on rerouting some of the wires. I actually managed to get the fuse box into the interior and got all these wires along the front here ran in there and hooked up to the fuse box. Definitely plan to do some videos on this once we get finished with the NB project. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I've also been thinking of kind of changing up the suspension on this car as well. So might be doing that in the future. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as always. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome week and we will see you in the next one.